So I'm waiting for my next assignment. Okay, well you can be ready and not ready at the same time. What do you mean by that? <laughs> so I've almost got everything teed up, but they need a little more time before they're ready for you. Actually, you know what? I've been thinking about doing some projects here at Rosebrook Gardens. Right here, there's going to be a nice door that takes you out to a wonderful little patio. We are also going to be working on the fireplace as well. So I thought to create a little twist, I would pass the baton to you. Normally, Mar is in charge of the whole thing from the beginning to the end, and he's very hands-on. And so to be hands-off, it's intimidating, I will say. Look at this. Wow. Life on Mars, the home makeover show. I'm Mar Jennings and I created six casual luxury design principles for renovating or designing any space in your home. My casual luxury designs are the answer to any design dilemma, and I'll show you how. Home run, thank you so much. I'm glad we did well, and you know, wow. I love it. I really do love it. Really, thank really, you so much. You're fantastic. Welcome. When I first met Paul, he could enter a room and walk through it and not even notice that the furniture had been rearranged. But if there was one piece of Lego, because he's a Lego crazy man, on the floor, he would sniff it out, find it, and notice it. Flash forward, now when Paul walks through a room, he does take notice on the things that have changed, and he's also still looking for his Lego pieces. I can't wait to tell you this new place, right? So, so where'd you go? It's called Outdoor Living and Design. In Fairfield? Yes, yeah, yeah. You went there for yeah, we all this? We got all this there. They were so helpful, they were great. Okay, so what are the chances what? that what? while you were going there to do this, yeah. I went there to do the back? No. Oh, come on. So I thought I would surprise Mara by going to Outdoor Living and Design, and... And I thought I would surprise Paul by going to Outdoor Living and Design because he knows all my local stopping grounds, and I thought I would go somewhere different. Well, or in this case, that you'd like talked about, but you hadn't, we hadn't started a project with that. Right. So it was like, yes, I'm gonna kick that off. And they never told me you were there. <laughs> Oh, the little stinkers. Oh, so they were able to keep a secret. That's too funny. Yeah, well, good for them. That's great. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, they, they have such beautiful things, oh, clearly. Goodness. And I didn't see any of this, so you must have grabbed this before I did. I guess it'll all go together. <laughs> wow. Now it's your turn, Paul. Okay. And there is one thing that you have been asking for. As a matter of fact, every once in a while, I find one here, and I say, get rid of it. And you're like, but why, why, why? Do you know what that is? A pony? N not a pony. Okay, good. So uh, let's give you your reveal. Okay. So now it's Paul's turn. Here at Rosebrook Gardens, you never travel unexpectedly because if you do, things will be very different when you come back. And that's exactly what Paul experienced. One, two, three. But before this big reveal, let me take you back to how it all began. So here's what has to happen very quickly. I'm going to pull up all the existing pavers that are currently in the patio. I need to replace it and expand the patio ever so slightly to accommodate all brand new furniture. I'm going to landscape, I'm going to add some new outdoor lighting, and then I'm going to also build a very large fire pit with storage. So before we move forward, I wanted to take a step back and tell you how I replaced the back door and windows at Roseburg Gardens. With a new patio idea going into full force right now, I figured I'm gonna replace that window with a new door. Thinking about that, what about the back patio? So I'm here at Echo Windows in Norwalk to find out what my choices are. 
Morning. morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm Eric. Hey, Eric. How are you? Nice to meet you. This Daniel. is Daniel. Nice. Hey, Daniel. So uh, I heard some wonderful things about your store, and I'm doing a project in Westport that's going to require a very creative eye and a partner to really take my dining room area and create a door where there's a window and then completely remove some back windows and another door and create a very cohesive design. And I just love what you have here. Well, thank you. You, you found yourself in the right place. Uh, we can uh, design any shapes uh, for doors and windows, any combinations. We certainly have corner units. Mm -hmm. um, so you could do totally custom or you can do something a la carte. Exactly. This, this uh, unit is made to emulate uh, steel, but it's in aluminum, so it's a very cost-effective solution. Uh, and long-lasting. And long-lasting. When I first purchased the house, I had a window and one door facing the back of the house. I immediately wanted to change that up, so the builder went ahead and put some windows and doors into the back area. But it wasn't really something that I said, this is what I want. So for me, this was my opportunity to finally say, this back area is now going to be a huge opportunity to allow Mother Nature's light to flow inside and also become more energy efficient as well. One thing that I really want to be aware of is that I don't want to busy up the glass. So I want to see a lot of glass, but I believe I, I, I'm really leaning towards doing one thick mullion low, and that way it's completely glass above, just to kind of create a visual interest that is just not glass, glass, glass. What do you think of that? That sounds good. We'll do the draft design for you and Great. we'll show you exactly what that's going to look like in the rendering. And it also just opens up the sight line to the gardens. And that's what I'm all about. Thank you, Eric. Thank okay. you for coming Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Mark. Okay, Pleasure. we'll be in touch. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Chris, one thing I think that's so important for people to realize is that outdoor rooms don't need to be very big. No. They can be small, they can be large. It's a matter of what works within your budget. So I'm gonna let you do what you need to do, yeah. which you're the expert at, and I'm gonna step away and we'll stay in touch and uh, I'm looking forward. That sounds excellent. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. Introducing the Ethan Allen Member Program special member pricing, complimentary design service, free shipping, and exceptional white glove home delivery. Unparalleled value and service on your every purchase, every day, on every handcrafted piece of furniture. Designed to help you curate a beautiful American home. Backed by 88 years of American design and craftsmanship. Ethan Allen, we make the American home. So now I've got to go on a business trip the last couple of days before we're set to reveal it tomorrow. I hope he doesn't peek. Hey Amanda. Hey Mar, how are you? I'm great. Listen, I have Team Mar yeah. out on assignment, so they're away. I'm thinking about doing a little project and I need a quick turnaround time, and I understand that you could probably help me. So we can talk to Dawn outside, she can get you started on the furniture, and I'll also get the designers and Chris involved, and we can all work together as a team. Outdoor Living and Design is located right here in my backyard, and they're a fantastic resource, and really a bullseye when it comes to one of my principles. The best part is that they totally understand the outdoor living concept. At Outdoor Design and Living, we do all things outside from A to Z. We do the landscaping and all of the beautiful masonry work and all the things that surround you, but we also dig a little deeper and we offer beautiful furniture, we offer fire pits, and we offer wonderful planters to access all of those pieces. As a designer, I'm always pushing the envelope and thinking, okay, what's new? What else can I do? Right. So they're not expecting this transformation. Okay. They're surprising me with a patio, but I figured, of course, I'm going to up the ante a little bit and do the entire back patio. So that's why we have such a tight timeline. All right, I think we can do it for okay. sure. Okay, okay, great.
So I'm here with Chris from Outdoor Design and Living. And as you know, one of my biggest principles is all about infusing indoor and outdoor spaces. Sure. And recently, I found out that that's your core business. That's what you do, and you're new to the Fairfield area, so it's great to have you here today. Thank you very much for having me. So Chris, one thing I think that's so important for people to realize is that outdoor rooms don't need to be very big. No. They can be small, they can be large, it's a matter of what works within your budget. And in my scenario, I have a very small piece of property, so it really is all about size and scale. Yes. Again, another one of my principles that you just totally understand. About 30 years ago, I started doing this, and then all of a sudden, I felt, you know, I needed to get into more things, you know, to extend people's lifestyles outside. And I bought this nursery, and I decided to set up it in vignette style, so people can actually see the outdoor living spaces come to life, because sometimes it's often hard for people to visualize. You go into this space and you say, okay, I want that, I want that, I want that. So there is a price point for everything. But most importantly, the, the vision of the outdoor room is very, very clear. Yes. And that's what we're all really dying to have more of, correct? It is true. It's nice to get, you know, work with the clients and finding out what their interests are, what they're, what they're looking for to get outside, how often they entertain outside, and what they want to do outside so they can extend the lifestyle outside. So I'm going to let you do what you need to do, yeah. which you're the expert at, and I'm going to step away and we'll stay in touch and uh, I'm looking forward. That sounds excellent. Okay. Was, thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. Outdoor Living Design is located right here in my backyard. And when I went to visit them, I got totally inspired. So much so that I felt that I needed to transform my own backyard. They totally understand the concept of outdoor living rooms, outdoor spaces that are maximized to be utilized and enjoyed all year long. Ladies, we are done. I can't believe we did it. It's so great. It looks fantastic. Wow. Well, Paul's in for a big surprise. <laughs> Exceptional products, personal service. Goldstone and Landscape Supplies offers both professionals and homeowners one of the largest selections of natural and man-made stone in New England. From small projects to complete renovations and new construction, incorporating stone indoors or outdoors can completely transform a space. Visit our showrooms in Westport and Bethel for an interactive stone experience or browse our expansive stone selection online at galtstone.com. Galt puts you first. By removing the doors, which I heard a lot of craziness about, I'm crazy, I shouldn't be doing it, they're perfectly fine. But what you don't know is that there was always a chill in the back corner of the dining room area. I wanted to address that as well. By allowing to change all the doors and windows and create a cohesive design from the back and the side, well then it became very aesthetically purposeful. It looks like it was always there. I'm also maximizing the side garden area, so I'm removing the diseased overgrown evergreens and replacing them with a new hedge called American Holly. Soon they will be tall and narrow, perfect for this area. All right, so now that we're all up to speed, let's get to the big reveal. All right, ladies, I think we're done. I think so, it looks great. We did it, I can't believe it. And just in time, Paul will be here in about an hour, so I'm going to reveal this entire back patio for him because he's wanted a fire pit for a very long time. I'm gonna light this up just before he gets here, so it's sure. roaring. But I think we're all good, thank you so much. Thank you.
Okay. Are you ready? So, are you ready? I'm ready. Do you want me to rip this off or are you going to do it? Well, you can help me. Okay. Why don't you grab that one? Okay. I'll grab this one. And then on the count of three, yeah. we'll rip it off. Ready? Oh my gosh, go. One, uh -huh. two, three. <laughs> Oh my god! Go it's on. amazing! No way! Paul, you got a fire pit! I can't believe it. That looks so good! So for the record, let me just say it was worth being skunked because the outdoor back patio space is incredible. It's so great. Look at this! I, I, I've always wanted something like this. This is so great. I always think a fire feature is so cool in the backyard. I love it. And it has storage on the other side, so the wood stays oh, nice and dry. Great. It's engineered so beautifully. They have a drill that made this hole off the side, and it's tilted ever so slightly, so all the water runs great. right out. So it will never sit in water. And, and I love the chevron pattern inside, too. It's to mimic nice. the inside yep. fireplace. I really can't believe what a quick turnaround it was. I was amazed. I can't wait to sit out there. So now, we, now we're spoiled for choices about the different places we can sit and work. Thanks, Mar. These trees look amazing. They look so good. They're called hornbeams, and they're really known for being architectural details in gardens because they can take a really good sculptural haircut. We can keep them like this very, very tight, and it just really anchors the corner of the patio. Yep. And then, of course, I had Mario come here, and he did some outdoor lighting for me, Great. so we lit the trees. So at Great. night, between the fire pit, the outdoor lighting, yeah. it's going, going to be really a fantastic place to enjoy space. morning, noon, and night. It's awesome. My six casual luxury design principles totally transform this new space. Represent Mother Nature. Embrace light and reflection. Natural materials and colors. Repeat shapes and patterns. Repurpose. Consider size and scale. Did you see the furniture there? I did see the furniture there. Did you imagine for a moment that I was going to buy that furniture? Well, so no, because, hey, hey, <laughs> points to me, because it was not the right scale for the side patio. So I didn't even really consider it. Ah. I'm learning. And you never thought it would fit in the back patio or because I wasn't doing the back patio. We had a back patio. <laughs> As America's top lifestyle expert, it's important for me to have a reliable mobile network. That's why I like Pulse Cellular with their premium unlimited wireless plans. Now that's amazing. The best part, if you sign up today using the promo code MARTV, you'll get an additional 10% off your monthly wireless bill for as long as you stay with Pulse Cellular. Switch to Pulse Cellular for the best wireless experience.